Um, I think um, my favorite project has actually been, it's not even done yet. Um, we are we are actually for the first time in my 20, nearly 20 or over 20 years of being a ham radio operator, I've never actually set up a special event station. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Now I have it. now I have done I have done field day activations and I've done you know but I've never been part of a special event station. Well you're not gonna be part of this one either. <laughs> <laughs> you can, oh. There you go. All right. Oh. You can do all the heavy lifting. I'm sure. just running it. Okay. So I'm so doing anyway, a so special event station. The special event station is gonna be for the K four GSO. That's our local ham club that we're part of. Uh, they're having their they're shooting for their largest ham fest mm -hmm. uh, that o Ocala have, has, has ever had, and so we're planning to um, uh, get a ICOM seventy seven sixty. It's supposed to be already on the way. Mm -hmm. We are going to integrate it with World Radio League, so that you part. could live watch watch world, the uh, the <laughs> map live uh, mm -hmm. as we're doing the contacts uh, with a special event station. And um, so they're going to be linked up. And uh, so, and then I'll have a third table where we're going to do uh, our regular. Um, we're going to be doing World Radio League, Ham Radio Prep, and Poto Power stuff. And then also a special event station. So we're doing, yeah. we're going to have three tables running all at one time. But I have already recruited. It's going to be a special event station. Um, I've got, including me, I think four or five YLs. 